Good morning. I'm Rev. Wendy with the Community of Compassion, and this is my Wednesday devotional for May 27th, entitled, When Bad Things Happen. And I felt like this title was apropos for, for this week, given the uh, events that have happened, particularly over the last few days, uh, and certainly against the backdrop of the worldwide pandemic that we still find ourselves in from day to day. There are questions that arise all the time uh, regarding why are these bad things being allowed to happen. And so in today's devotional, I wanted to say to you that there are no answers as to why bad things happen. Um, we'd like to try to explain it to ourselves because our human nature is to want to understand things and to, to process things in a way that makes sense. But what I've come to find and what I've come to understand is there are some things that we may never figure out, may never get an answer to, or may never be able to fully process. And for me, that's where faith comes in handy, not as a way to escape the realities of of the, the difficult things that are happening, but rather to provide a place of refuge and a place of fortress um, and a place of, of, of silence and surrender that I can uh, navigate in an effort to um, understand what's happening to me and in me when bad things are happening. And so today I just wanted to share a few moments with you uh, from a devotional standpoint. What do we do when bad things happen? When bad things happen, where do we turn? Where do we go to process things that we don't understand? That answer is different for many of us, but I do believe that faith can provide a safe place and a solace of refuge for us while we sort through our feelings and process the events. There's a scripture in Psalm 91 that says, he whoever dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. I will say of God, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. When I hear scriptures like that, they provide a, a, a sense of of safety for me uh, in that I have somewhere I feel like I can turn, whether that's in prayer or meditation or silence or to a, a group of supportive voices. It's uh, through faith in those channels being available that I am able to navigate uh, in some ways when bad things happen. My um, advice for you today is to take some time and seek out emotional shelter uh, during these bad events and when bad things happen. Recognize when they happen, how they make you feel and find a place to go um, and seek shelter and seek refuge uh, in order to restore yourself to a place that is uh, emotionally viable. Bad things are always going to exist. They're not going to go away. But what we can do is, is prepare ourselves and try to be as strong as possible uh, in an effort to make our way through things when they happen, to understand them at least on a level that helps us continue on and to fight in whatever way and capacity that we have remaining to make sure that good things can counter and prayerfully one day outweigh the bad. Would you pray with me? Gracious God, loving spirit, source of all that is, please be with us today and continue to help us navigate all of these difficult times. Help us to find peace in the midst of the storms and refuge from the barrage of negativity that we continue to see. Lead us to where we might find rest for our weary souls and strengthen us to continue the fight for justice, love, and peace. You are a very present help in the time of need, and it is in this time of need that we request your help most of all. It is in all of your holy names we pray. Amen.
do take some time for yourself today to seek solace, to seek refuge, because when bad things happen, we have to remind ourselves that at some point there will be good and that there still is good in the world. Be blessed today, be safe, and be well.